Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. Hey there, everybody. Today, we're making some late game combat training systems. If you have access to the Shimmering Frontier, you'll be able to take advantage of these methods. Let's take a look. All right, all three of these designs take advantage of the materializer, but each one is focused a little bit differently. This first one here is primarily designed for helping you with melee, though it will technically work with any of your combat skills. What I've got in the materializer is a Shroomman Brute, and we just turn it on. There's a single wire underneath one of the walls, and the Shroomman Brute will just stand here. It gives me the ability to attack him with my melee weapon, because I can get real close and he won't hit me back. I, if I want to, I could also use a bow and I can attack him this way as well. Again, he's not going to attack back. However, with this method, we're not training our vitality. Now this farm is very similar in its design. It also has a single hidden wire underneath one of the walls connecting the lever. Inside each one of these materializers, I have a blue slime figurine. Now I chose the blue slime figurine because it has over a thousand hit points, which allows you to get the maximum amount of experience per kill, as you don't get more than a thousand experience per creature that you kill, but you get that experience based on the number of hit points they have. So any enemy with a thousand or more hit points is going to give you your maximum XP per kill. Blue Slimes have around 1,300 uh, hit points. And with this one, I summon four Blue Slimes, allowing me to hit them at a range, or if they are getting a little closer, I can come in and I can hit them with melee as well because of the way that I have angled um, these ground blocks. You also can use summoning if you want to, or you can use magic as well. This same design works just as well as the last one, except with this one, you're actually going to be killing the enemies, so you'll be gaining vitality as well. And finally, we have the last farm here. This one doesn't have any hidden wires because all of the materializers are connected to each other. You need 16 materializers for this farm to work at its maximum capacity. If you don't have 16 of them, just put in as many as you can and fill it out as you gain more. What you want to do is you're going to want to stand in the very middle. Now this farm really is only ideal for leveling up your summoning ability. It's not really designed for anything else. Though you can use it for ranged or for magic, it is th this one, this one is specifically designed for summoning. So what I've done is I've placed down my 16 materializers. I've also got a gap surrounding me. And then I've got my lever right here to turn everything on. In every single one of these materializers, I have a blue slime placed. I'm going to dig up the one ground tile that lets me get out of this farm, and I'm going to start summoning my jellyfish. And this one is designed for the jellyfish. As you can see, the jellyfish are appearing right where the materializer is going to be. What I want to do is get all the way up to eight jellyfish, and then I'm going to turn the farm on. All right, now at this point, I just let the slime spawn and they will keep respawning. And I just make sure that I keep up my eight jellyfish. And this will raise your summoning skill up very, very quickly. The design of this farm will also work really well if you're trying to raise your vitality very quickly because you'll be killing a lot of creatures very fast and that will jack up your vitality score. All three of these farms have very simple designs. Each one requires just a little bit more in the way of materializers. So depending on how many materializers you have and what exactly you're trying to train up, take the design of your choice and run with it. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for future content, and if you are feeling really generous, please join us on Patreon or become a YouTube member. Your support means the world to me, and I can't do it without you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay crazy.